What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto. Now in this video, I'm gonna be going over my top five Elementor Transform tricks. Now Elementor recently came out with their Transform feature and I thought I would go over it and show you guys what cool things we can do with it. Now Transform isn't something new that Elementor came up with. It's actually a CSS style option that we can add to um, our elements. And we usually would just do it with adding CSS to our website and doing it that way. But now we can just do it with the Elementor Builder and it's going to make things a lot easier. So and for those of you that probably don't know much CSS, um, it's going to be a way better option. So let's go ahead and just begin here. Now, the first trick I want to show you guys using the transform feature is pairing that with the divider. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag my divider right in here. And I'm going to make my color white. And my weight would probably be about maybe two or three. And then my gap, I can reduce my gap. I can leave it as that for now. And I think what looks cleaner is probably if we set this to a two. Okay. So, I mean, this looks pretty clean already, but let's say I wanted to maybe stretch out this line all the way to the edge. I'm sure you've seen that in a lot of website. It is something that, that um, people are starting to do a lot more now. So we used to just be able to just add some CSS and do it that way, but now we can just do it with transform. So if you go into advanced, uh, make sure that you have your divider selected. So click on transform and we're just gonna wanna scale this and scale it all the way to two. Now you will notice that now it does go all the way to the edge, but the thing is we also have it on the other side as well. And I kind of just want to align it with this section here with this column. So what we need to do is make sure that you set your um, X anchor point, set that to the left, and then make sure you set your top to the center just so then it gets to the center. And there you have it. Now, if we go ahead and just view this, there you go. But there is a little bit issue here. You can notice that we do have this white space here and we kind of just need to remove that. So in order to do that, go into your section and then go into layout and your overflow should be set to hidden. Now, of course, right now with the editor um, builder, it is a little bit buggy. So it doesn't uh, show that right away. But if we go over here, and we preview this, you notice that we don't have that issue where we have that white space. So that's set up perfectly. So that's one thing you can do with it. Now, the second trick that I wanted to show you guys is going to be our text. Now, I'm sure you maybe you've already seen this before. I know that Elementor did come out with their own video um, going over the transform feature. But I did want to go over this just to show you guys here. So I'm going to set this text to white. Now, if you ever just wanted to set your text vertically, we're actually able to do that with transform. So once you've added your text, go into advance, make sure you're on your heading, go into transform, and then we just want to rotate this and we want to rotate it to about 90. And there you have it. And then if we wanted to, we can even, um, we can even offset this and move it around. So we can move it down and there we go. That's how you would go about doing that. Now, of course, if you wanted to place this pretty much wherever you would want to, you can pair this with um, positioning. You can even set this to in line if it's something that you wanted to do, but I would just set it to default um, and then go into go into absolute. Now we can just drag and drop this wherever we want it. And there we have it. So that's how that can work. Now, the third trick that I wanted to go over is rotating objects or elements. So we can start off with our um, our icon here. And if we go to advance, we go to transform. And we can go ahead and go to hover and go to rotate. And we just want to rotate that a bit here. So as you can tell now that whenever I hover over this, it's going to rotate. Um, and then we can also set up the transition duration in milliseconds and there you go it's a lot slower now now the cool part about the rotate is we can pair that with our text path and then we can set that up to circle and let's go ahead and go into style and just shrink this a bit and then maybe set this to the center instead and let's make the text white and let's go ahead and adjust our um, font here we can make this a little bit bigger here 
and then just go ahead and add some more text to this just to have a full circle there there we go and then we can go into advance go into transform we can even scale this so we can make it a much smaller we can set that up to our liking you could have done that anyway with your style and over here we could have just adjusted that on the size but that works as well just wanted to show you guys there and then the cool part about it is we can go into hover and then we can do the exact same thing that i was going over when it comes to rotating so we can just set our rotation here and then we can set up a uh, duration and there we have it now we have that cool little hover effect where it goes ahead and spins now it is doing a little glitch here i'm wondering why it's actually doing that it's kind of strange um that actually might be a bug here but let me see if i can adjust the sizing of this again yeah so it looks like it's just a little bug let's go to transform and make sure that's set and there we go and hopefully that doesn't bug out okay so that's working perfectly there but i'm going to go ahead and just remove that for now now you can just do position absolute and place that wherever you want i'm sure you guys have seen that on different websites it is something popular that people are doing nowadays now the fourth transform trick it's pretty simple honestly but i did want to go over it um just so then you guys have that idea so i'm going to add an image i'm going to grab this uh car here so let's say you go ahead and add a vehicle or whatever image that may be. And let's say you want to flip it to the other side, um, but you don't want to use Photoshop or you don't have Photoshop, right? Sometimes there's that issue where the client just gives you an image and they want it flipped to the other side, but you don't want to use, you don't want to go and use Photoshop. You can actually just do this with transform and go into um, flip horizontally and you can just flip it. You can even flip this vertically as well. If that's something that you wanted to do. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just set it up to how it was now the fifth and final trick It's pretty simple. It's just scaling here And I think I went over it a little bit already But I wanted to go over it a bit more if there's ever a time where you want to go ahead and make your image a lot larger But you're stuck between your column um, This is a good option to use just a scale method You can go ahead and scale this to your liking now We can even pair this up with our motion effects and we can go over to um, scrolling effects and then we can set a horizontal scroll. So, so now whenever we scroll, we can see that our car looks like it's moving. That's a really cool fact. I'm sure you guys have seen that before, but I just, just wanted to show you guys that there. Now that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now, if you guys know of any other transform tricks, go ahead and comment down below and let me know and maybe I can uh, try those out as well. Now, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.